We are going to talk about garlic, or some people call it the stinking rose of the garden. We consider it a lost vegetable when many, with, with many people forgetting or not knowing that they can grow it very easily in their garden in the fall and harvest it in spring. It's quite easy to do, and there's some techniques and tips in which we're going to share in order to increase the success of your garlic crop. Right. So garlic is fun to grow, or as I say, it's stupid easy to grow. And it's very true. It does take about nine months, though. So with that being said, you have to consider where you're going to plant this garlic, and you're going to have to consider the fact that you're taking up that real estate or spot for that amount of time. But one thing you want to have is full sun. Um, I have a little saying, if it's for the root or fruit, it needs full sun. If it's for the greens, it can have some shade. So garlic, you're definitely growing the root. You do not necessarily have to designate a grow bed for 100% garlic. You can intermingle the garlic in existing flower beds, uh, in, in uh to be existing vegetable beds that will be planted in the spring. You just may have to do some mathematical calculations on order where to plant so you have spacing for the other crops in which you're going to put in. But it does not have to be a designated, this has to be all garlic, all the whole thing. So there's a couple of things in which we need to follow before identifying the type of garlic that is best for our garden. We need to have good soil. As you talked about, Holly, we need to have full sun. So you can and you can plant it by other plants, as you mentioned. Yep. But the big thing is that with the well, the good soil is like well draining soil, loose soil because it's a root crop, so it needs to have that loose soil to expand and grow. Uh, generally, if you're planting any vegetables, that's the uh, key to a good success: is good loose soil. You don't want to plant it in concrete or clay. You want to have good amended well, soil. So maybe some plants like uh, some weeds like the concrete dandelions dandelions <laughs> but like even uh, sunchokes they yep. grow kind of questionable soil so the garlic is not one of those plants doesn't enjoy concrete or questionable soil wants happy soil so there's two different groupings of garlic here technically three but officially two there's soft neck garlic and there's hard neck garlic and then yes there is elephant garlic but elephant garlic is not actually a garlic it's part of the leek family However, it does contain a l- garlic flavor. Now, and I think it's kind of easy to peel too. Yes, it's very large cloves. Mm-hmm. Elephant garlic is planted in the spring, harvested in the fall, like your spring onions would be. Fall garlic, and then there are pr- ways in which you can plant spring garlic, but we're going to focus on on fall garlic here. You plant the garlic in later portions of fall. You allow it to establish, then you harvest it in late spring, early summer. That's what we have found to be the best success. So let's talk about the bulbs. So if you harvested garlic in June or July, like we did, you should have set aside the largest bulbs, which would produce the largest cloves. If you purchase garlic, you want to look for the the meatiest bulbs possible. If you order it online, obviously that's... Not really your choice, but at least you know for next year. Well, let's talk about soft neck or hard neck. What do we want? What's best? Uh, there is not really necessarily a wrong answer. However, hard neck seems to do better in the northern portions of the United States. There are gardeners in the northern portions that do very well with soft neck. The two major characteristical differences between hard neck and soft neck is the hard neck will produce a scape, an external growth at the top of the plant late in spring that will if left alone create a seed pot removing that gives you garlic scapes and reduces the energy in which the plant is uh, putting out for that seed pod and puts it into bulb development so you have a larger bulb soft neck garlic does not have that seed pod growth on it it simply will fall over when the plant is ready to be harvested much like exactly like your spring onions in the fall. They'll fall over, they'll crimp, that's time to harvest. The other characteristic difference between the two, if you don't know if you have hard neck or soft neck, is simply the stem goes all the way through the bulb into the roots on a hard neck. On a soft neck, the stem goes to the top of the bulb, and that's it. So there's another way to identify. Now, if you want to find, you said there's, you, if you have saved garlic from the spring harvest, you can use that. What if you don't have that option? You, you can, so you can, you can Google or search garlic, uh, fresh garlic to grow or garlic seed, not seed, garlic, uh, bulbs. bulbs. Yeah, bar, yeah. Yeah, garlic bulb seeds, whatever. Um, locally, so you can try to find something locally. We have a great local, a local farm not too far from the Milwaukee area. 
Otherwise, you can look online. But you want if you look online, you want to try to buy something that's within your region. You, you don't want to buy something from Phoenix and try to grow it in Maine, that type of thing. Uh, now, if you are unable to find that garlic locally, uh, you can go to your local organic health food store. Or your local farmer's market. They would have actual variety. What you want to avoid is going to the big box grocery store and buying the garlic that's a generic variety uh, that has very it's little... probably been growing in Asia or China. That's where a predominant of these come it's from. It's growing hydroponically, which isn't a bad thing. They do grow it very resourcefully, but it's not going to grow for you in your garden. Do not grow s- generic, normal store-bought garlic in your garden. It does not work. Some people find that it will work, but whenever you get a true, authentic heirloom or organic variety, it is a tremendous success in order to grow in your garden. Now, we want to plant this about 30 days before our intended first hard freeze. That can be a guess for anybody, no matter where you're at in the United States. However, that allows the bulb to start to develop roots prior to it going to dormancy. You want to, and not, in a, not not required, but you can soak your cloves, the largest cloves, for about 24 hours in a water, in a manure tea, in a compost tea, to help hydrate that liquid, in a fertilizer tea, some type, uh, to hydrate that clove in order to get a better jump start, energy boost it. Uh, you want to plant it about two to four inches deep and spacing those bulbs about eight inches apart and rows one foot apart in your bed. You can you want also want to plant it so the it's like a teardrop when it comes out so you want to plant the just like it comes out of the 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 bulb the cloves you're going to plant with like a teardrop shape with the point up yeah the wide portion down the skinny portion up and you don't and you just let it sit there you don't have to do anything uh, so the biggest thing is is that so we here in the Milwaukee area plant our garlic the first weekend in October. Um, but you can kind of figure out you, what you want to establish. And the reason why we do this is you want to allow the garlic to establish some roots. So if you live in an area that maybe you have a longer time till the frost or freeze, you might want to plant a little bit later. So uh, that's how. And then in springtime, you will go ahead and uh, side dress it, fertilize it, uh, make sure that everything looks okay. And then in the then you'll get the scapes come up if you're doing the hard neck garlic. Uh, you can plant spring garlic and harvest it in the fall in the same characteristics in which we have just spoke about. However, however, um, you do not want to, um, you want to get that in as quick as you can in the spring because these garlic cloves need a certain number of cold hours in order to properly develop. So if you plant it in the same time you plant like your tomatoes, it's not going to grow very good. It's not going to develop the way you want it to. It's now let's talk about mulch for a second. Yes. Some people mulch their garlic, some people don't. If you do mulch your garlic, that's fine. We don't mulch ours. But if you do, you just want to do a thin layer. We over mulched a couple of years before we actually learned how to do this correctly uh, and, and smothered the garlic out. Uh, you can mulch, but we choose not to. And we find that it has no... Uh, harsh effects to the development of the garlic at all. Uh, one thing you want to be aware of is if you do choose, or you, you may, when we talked about the garlic seeds, those take 24 months to develop into the bulb. If you take the clove and plant it, it takes nine months in order to develop correctly. So that's why we encourage you to use the clove off the harvested bulb rather than try to find seed. It just much, much more efficient, uh, effective, and easier in order to grow the garlic. Right. So um, so let's kind of recap here. Biggest bulbs, biggest cloves. You can soak it. You want to plant it so that it establishes root before your frost or freeze. And you want to find a well-draining soil, full sun, <coughs> excuse me, and you also want to plant it eight inches apart in foot spaced rows. That's right. Uh, and get a, a, try to find a, do not get a generic variety. Well, that's how we can plant garlic, a quick, easy way. You can always find more information out on our website, the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener.com. For more information, please visit the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener.com.